today before Magistrate Judge Alberto Tolentino in an orange Department of Corrections jumpsuit via video conference from the Hagania Detention Facility, Assistant Attorney General Gabriel Rossi. This is a very serious case. Uh, the nature of the charges are that he did kidnap and rape a six-year-old girl. Um, when he was confronted by the mother of the girl, he tried to cover it up and lie and say he was just watching TV. According to court documents, the girl was playing outside her Zonia home with friends, but while hiding on the side of her house, Tenorio allegedly approached her and grabbed her by the arm and brought her to his home next door. Court documents state that he then took her into his bedroom where he allegedly had sex with the child. He's being held on half a million dollars cash bail. Natsunori, who was just released from prison in December 2011 after serving a six-year conviction for a criminal sexual conduct charge, was granted parole for three years. Part of the conditions for that parole was that he not be left alone with a minor. He violated one of those conditions not only by being alone with a minor, but by repeating the same conduct for which he was incarcerated previously. Tenorio is a level 3 sex offender after being convicted of having sex with a 7-year-old girl in 2005. Rossi says his criminal past is reason enough why his bail should be set at $500,000. Based upon his clear inability to follow court orders, to stay away from minors, much less not harm any minors, uh, we believe that he would not be able to follow any conditions of bail if he were to get a PR. Certainly, we believe he's a danger to the community. Tenorio was also ordered by Judge Tolentino to have no contact with the victim or her family. He faces charges of first-degree criminal sexual conduct and kidnapping, both as first-degree felonies. First-degree criminal sexual conduct is a first-degree felony if you are convicted. It comes with a minimum mandatory 15 years to life in prison without the possibility of any work release. Tenorio is scheduled to return to court on July 15th for further proceedings. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.